how are you doing? Right, today I've come to a place I've never been to before. Um, Stiper Stones. Stipper Stones, Stiper Stones. I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, There's quite a few people here, to be honest. The journey in was f***ing horrendous. Um, probably, there must be a different way to get here, surely. Um, but I went to go to Hope Bowdler. I couldn't get parked up. I went to then thought I'd go to the um, Cadmill Valley. The car park was full. So I thought, oh, I'll try somewhere I've not, not been before. And I had to come across the Long Mind. And anybody who's been across there before, Jesus, Nelly. They had an heart attack at the drops at the side. Flipping heck. Um, I didn't manage to video it. I was too busy grabbing all that steering wheel. Anyway, I've got here, Sniper Stones. There's um, quite a few people here. I thought the weather were going to be better. Um, than what it is. I've got my shorts on. Jesus, I've even got my legs out on this cloud. Unbelievable. Right, I'll get out. Let's go see what's happening. See ya. I've got the GoPro going as well. So when I put it in the video, I'm hoping you'll see me as well as this. But you probably just want to see the views, to be honest. I don't know why you want to look at this. But yeah, it's nice, there's nobody here. I thought there'd be loads here when I saw them all walking down the hill. It's just, just like a big group, but they've gone now. And there's, there's nobody here. It's a bit cool, like. Glad I put my coat in the bag. Um, don't see much wind though, which is good. <coughs> so I should get drawn out. I've never been here, so I'll have to try and look up where I am and what I'm looking at, which stones are which. And, uh, all right, see you in a bit.
Uh, I'm on a, um, I think it's called the Devil's Chair. I'll have a look. Or Devil's Ridge, Devil's Chair, something like that. Um, just come up out way. Got a little quiet spot at the top. Um, I've got a little GoPro um, time lapse going on over here. You can see it. It's with the fusion. I've never done it before with the fusion, so I don't know if it's exactly the same or what, but we'll have a look. But yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's, to be honest, I'm a bit. I thought it'd be more of a challenge to it. It's just a really nice walk with nice views. I can't. I think I'd prefer to be do K Caradoc, Hope Bowdler around there. It's just. I mean, there's, there's this here that is like, it's like a bit of rock climbing, but the thing I've struggled with most is staying on my bloody feet. <laughs> I nearly fell over about three times. Rocky is old. But no, it's a nice, peaceful place. I mean, that's why a lot of us want to get out. Mental health, aids mental health. If you see in the top corner, I don't know which one it is, that one or that one. But there's the Mountains for the Mind logo. Um, I'm quite lucky, I've not really suffered with it myself, but I know people who have. I know what such a, a good cause it is. Um, and I know it's been a difficult time for a lot of people who rely on getting outside and so forth. And, and it does make a massive difference. So if you've never heard of it before, um, go check it out. It's mainly through and Facebook, um, online as well, Mountains for the Mind. The work with the Trail magazine, anybody's heard of the Trail magazine? Really good magazine. Um, some people complain there's too much just of Wales in it, but I find it really good, I really enjoy um, reading it. And I actually got in it last week with our friend Elaine. Got a photograph of us before the madness up um, Penny Fan, Reckon Beacons. There's a picture of us at the top. So brilliant, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's nice. It's nice here. It, it is nice. It's if if you like, if you don't want anything too strenuous, it's 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 ideal. Um, but if you like a bit more of a challenge with a hill, unless I'm in the wrong place, it's the first time I've ever been here. So I could probably carry on walking and found somewhere different. I'm not sure, but no, it's um, it's all right, but. I don't know if I'll come again. <laughs> it's gonna, I'm going to see if I can get drawn out now anyway. There's been a red kite flying around. Oh God, I wish I could have been um, near that. There's a lot of people hiding in, in flipping whatever it is, taking photographs of birds. I know one of them scared the bloody life out of me down there. <laughs> anyway, okay, all right. Catch you in a bit. See ya. a massive difference um, it was like 12 pounds you, know, you fit it yourself it's really good quality really good easy instructions um, to put it on but it's, it's superb it's like a, and when you're up and above it you see that's underneath I mean, pure grey before 
it does make a difference. I always have to seem to panic that I'm going to lose it, even though these are returned to home feet from there. Uh, but yeah, so anybody who's got one of these, I definitely recommend um, one of them if you're worried about visibility on it. It's really good, but I think I've got some really good shots. Really good shots on there. Yeah, it's been alright. I think I've got some cracking um, drone footage. I hope so. Anyway, it look, look, looks good. But yeah, it's um, certainly got some views up here. Probably can't see them properly with the GoPro. That's been such a wide angle. But it's, um prefer doing this, getting up on the rocks and that lot. I think the, the walk, it's just, just a walk. It just bored me a bit. But coming up here and messing with the drone and stuff like that. And that's it's good. There's hardly anybody about. There's a couple walking up down there but yeah anyway right I'm gonna get off how are you doing <clears throat> right, I'm nearly at the car park um, you might be able to see it on the GoPro, where I'm at. Earlier on I said I was a little bit disappointed because it was on the hill, but I think I don't think I've been particularly fair there. It's, it's, I mean, I've just, <coughs> I've completely forgot about the trig point. I've just climbed up that, the big clip of that. I got the drone out, did a fire of that, and um, climbed up a few bits and that. And I've, 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 I've actually really enjoyed it. I think at the beginning I was just a bit, I'd not researched it properly. I thought they were a big hill, <laughs> and um, I was inclined, but no, it's, it's been good. I won't put anybody off from coming here. It's just, it's anybody can do this. It's just a nice walk. Um, <clears throat> there's nothing particularly hard about it. I suppose if you wanted to climb on some of the rocks, you can make it as hard as you want to make it. But no, it's, um, yeah, it's all right. <clears throat> I just want to say a massive thank you to the, if I remember the link properly, I'll put, if I can't put it down here, Great Outdoors TV, Outdoors TV. Um, I joined their, their group on Facebook and put a video on, a couple of video on, and I've gone from like, which obviously doesn't seem like a lot to you guys, but I had 10 subscribers in a year. Wow, so popular. Um, and within a week I've gone to 21 because of you guys. Um, and one of the guys who, if I can find the name, I'll put it on at the bottom of this. Um, I had it all set up wrong, found out for me what to do. Something to do with the, the kids, the kids viewing, something like that. So thank you for that. And then you've got Dave Outdoors, Shropshire Lad, going around places that I'm, you know, going around myself. Brilliant. I love their videos anyway. Um, I've watched them for a while. Um, and if you, if you want to, if anybody follows some or nothing, I was the person that won the tent. <laughs> So when I can get back out again, uh, I'll be testing that out. So cheers Trev for that. Excellent, thank you very much. Right, stop babbling, I'll get off. Have a good day, evening, whatever it is, weekend. I'll see ya. See ya.